There's a spider under my camera. Hello world. This video is going to be an overview of what I watched and listened to in May and June. Now that I'm on Letterboxd, I think it's really cool to just keep a log of what you have watched and when. And I've even started doing reviews. I consider them more like comments than reviews, but I've even been doing reviews of movies as I watch them. So it's been really cool to just look at my log and just see how I, the journey that I've taken through watching new movies. And I see that other people do these what I've watched videos here on YouTube, so I thought I would give it a try. First, though, I want to tell you what I have been listening to. So, in May, I was really listening to a lot of Bolt Thrower. I just think they sound great for summer. And then in June, I bought two CDs, and I never <laughs> buy CDs. And I don't really do new releases, but the new Halloween came out, so I bought that. It's self-titled. I'll give you a little sample. Indestructible! And then I got Ashes of... Aries or Ashes of Ares. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it has Matt Barlow, formerly of Ice Earth, and I love his voice. So I've been wanting to buy one of their CDs, and I got the self-titled because that's the one that was on the Nuclear Blast store, and it sounds like, this is my hell! I guess we're having a power metal summer, and that is okay. Okay, now let's get on to what I watched starting in May. We're just going through the timeline. So I started out watching the new wrong turn that was so good next i watched 976 evil that was not good next i watched the quiet ones that sucked a bay of blood it was awesome i think i need to rewatch it though all the colors of the dark a masterpiece of course i actually bought that one on blu-ray because I really wanted to watch it and there was no free way to watch it. You had to subscribe to a channel, like I think it was probably on Shudder. And I don't have Shudder, so I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. Next, I watched Darkness. It was not good. Detective Belly, aka Ring of Death. It was not good. I thought it was gonna be a Jollo. I saw Florinda Balkan was on it and the title sounded like it was a Jollo, but it was more of a Polizio Teschi. Next, I watched The Witch. That was so good. <laughs> It was so good. I think I even got a little scared. Next, I watched The Iguana with a Tongue of Fire. And one of y'all commented and said that was one of your least favorite, but I actually, personally, I, I thought it was pretty good. And then I watched The Cave. We bought it on DVD because it was like at the thrift store or something. It was good. I mean, it was good like mid-2000s monster movie. Okay, we are moving on to June. Am I blasting through this too fast? Hey, if I mentioned any of these movies and you want to know more about what I thought, just let a hoe know. <laughs> okay, June. The Girl in Room 2A. One of you guys said it was your favorite Jalo, so I checked it out, loved it. The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. That was a really fantastic title for a really not so great movie. The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. I loved it. I had a great time. I had fun. This is not me getting into whether I think Ed and Lorraine Warren deserve this sort of recognition. This is me looking at it as a fictional piece of horror, okay? And I had a grand time. <laughs> Next, The Butterfly Effect, okay? <laughs> I've been meaning to watch it forever. If you saw my DVD collection video, you know I mentioned that We've had it and I've been meaning to watch it for like 15 years and I just haven't. Well, we finally sat down and watched it. You know, the concept is really cool, but it was kind of awful. But, you know, good, but awful. Next, I watched Hatchet for the Honeymoon. That was a fantastic Jalo. I had a great time watching that one. Next, The Doll of Satan. I enjoyed that. I thought it was great. It could have been a little more satanic, but it was it was good. Next, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2003. The one with Jessica Biel. It was brutal. Okay, then I went on a little kind of like a Lifetime tangent because I love me some Lifetime movies as well. Double Daddy. Since I watched Double Mommy recently, I decided it was time for Double Daddy. It's about a teenage boy who impregnates two girls. Like, back to back. <laughs> it was great. Then I watched A Mother's Nightmare. That was about, maybe I should be telling you what all these movies are about. 
I don't know. This is my first time doing this. Okay, so feel free to give feedback. Mother's Nightmare was about this this mom. She has a teenage son, and he starts dating this crazy girl that convinces all her boyfriends to kill themselves. It was also really good. So moving on, A Quiet Place to Kill, a Jalo featuring Carol Baker. I, I enjoyed this one. I thought it was great. And the last movie I watched in June is From Beyond. Body horror freaks me out. I, it's scary to me. It's very scary. And this is what I was saying on my Instagram story is like, I don't know why people think stuff like Reanimator and The Brood and From Beyond are funny or comedies or silly because I find them terrifying. <laughs> but I really liked From Beyond. Wow, well, and there you go. That's what I have been listening to in the movies I have been watching in May and June. I've also been watching Degrassi, I've been watching Pokemon Indigo League, and I've been watching Tales of Zestiria the X. Gosh, media just runs my life. Anyway, what have you been watching? What have you been up to? What have, what have you been exploring? What niche or rabbit hole are you falling into? Let me know. Hope you liked this video. Hope it went okay. This is a very easy one to film. Um, it took very little preparation, so... Maybe I'll keep throwing these in. I don't know if I'll make this a regular thing or not, but if you'd like to see it again, let out now. <laughs> I just love saying that. Okay, ciao.